baby's reaction video. Get a little throwback Jimmy Hyroller on what he said was going to happen for the NBA championship in 2023. So let's watch it, react, and see whether he was right or wrong. Let's get enjoy it. That I knew which team was going to win the NBA championship this season. That I somehow could see and predict the future like some sort of basketball prophet. See if he did. Well, then I'd be a filthy liar. Because I don't know who's going to win the NBA title this season. Jimmy! But what if we could use numbers and data collected over decades of NBA games to make an accurate prediction as to which team will be crowned the 2023 NBA champions? Okay. That'd be Good pretty cool, right? Well, let's give it a shot. Today's video is brought to you by SeatGeek Red, not the way to get the best baseball Damn. off your and that's why according to the And that's why according to the numbers, the Boston Celtics will be the 2022 NBA champions. They check all the boxes for a potential championship team. Well, they have the regular looking to season resume to back it up and all the numbers it's suggest they will so be far. crowned as champions at the end of the season. It's not looking good for you, Jimmy. It's not looking good for you, Jimmy. Because I've seen the playoffs. You're already wrong. Celtics, okay. Curry gets it. Fakes. Fires three pointer. Steph Curry from downtown. Shout out Steph Curry. Better than Kevin Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant needs Curry. Curry didn't need Kevin Durant. Two games. That's how close we were last season to accurately predicting the winner of the 2022 oh, NBA Finals year. before the playoffs even began. Oh, According to the resume tweaking. and the that numbers and the every year. variable we could possibly take into account, the Celtics were destined to become champions last season. But what I forgot to take into consideration is that Steph Curry is a god in a pair of Under Armors. And so our prediction fell short. No, in fact, after much. this heart-wrenching <laughs> defeat, I went back I and looked at playoff predictions from some right. of the industry's leading experts and outlets. And out of the 50 predictions that I came across, two of them had the Warriors winning the finals. Damn. And in the most ironic... Shannon Sharp had the Celtics. I mean, it's Shannon Sharp had the, the Bucks. Skip had the Celtics. Let's we'll see what Stephen A. Stephen A. Stephen A. set the. What the hell? Two of them. Stephen A. actually set the Warriors. Had the Warriors winning the finals. That's crazy. And in the most ironic way possible, one of those picks was from Stephen A. Smith. But has last year's shortcomings deterred me from attempting to beat insurmountable odds by trying to predict this year's NBA champions and looking like a fool in the process? Absolutely not. So let's give this another shot. When looking at some predictions for this year's playoffs, there really is no general consensus. In a recent Don't survey conducted by SB Nation, fans overwhelmingly predicted the Milwaukee Bucks winning this year's championship, yeah. with the Suns and so Celtics bad. trailing with just half as many votes. But if there's anything I've learned throughout these experiments, it's that everyone can be completely wrong all at the same time. Looking into some of the more insightful predictions of this year's NBA playoffs, 538 has crunched the numbers and has the Celtics as the overall favorite to win this year's finals. But some interesting things to note is that despite factoring in the addition of Kevin Durant, the Phoenix Suns still retain just the seventh best chance of winning the finals, behind three other Western Conference teams. And three of the top four teams are Eastern Conference teams, which might mean that whoever comes out of the East will inevitably be crowned champions. And this may just be the case. But then it hit me. Brother, what if instead of using data to predict to who the champions will be, we ask the data who the champions will be? In a discussed by the way, the scar button ruined now scars. Appreciate sure the scar button help brother out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Display of AI supremacy. Last season, an artificial intelligence program by the name of Swarm managed to accurately predict the winner of the 2022 NBA Finals. Appalling, right? But if that wasn't crazy enough, Swarm also predicted that the Warriors would win the series in six games. In fact, this Swarm AI program was used throughout last season's That's regular crazy. season to try and predict outcomes of regular season games. 
robots are taking over. And not only did it do what? really well, it managed to outperform 96% of or betters maybe they just in the process. The, the AI so in a desperate attempt uh, to get this thing right, I've put aside my knowledge, it. research, and years of watching the NBA to ask a bot. It's groundbreaking. Genius, even. Why didn't I think of this before? <clears throat> Who will win the 2023 NBA Finals? The pinnacle of AI technology. The exponentially powerful tool of peak human advancement. The... Hmm. That's tough! Right. You're useless to me. We have to take another route here. And I think I've got it. While researching for this experiment, I stumbled across this article published last summer on Medium.com no, from a data scientist and logo. NBA fan who goes by the name of DJK. His article goes into great detail regarding a machine learning model that uses data to correctly predict which team will win the NBA championship. The article is incredible. I've left a link in the description and highly recommend checking it out. And while creating this model, the JK sifted through countless NBA stats and data to find which variables are important to postseason success and which variables aren't. And according to his research, the factors that have the strongest correlation to playoff success are the following. If a team finished top three in their conference, the extent of a roster's playoff experience, if a team has a player or multiple players who have received MVP votes, a team's SRS score and margin of victory throughout the regular season, and oddly enough, if the team has performed well in past playoffs. Huh. And with this data, the JK all right. defied all odds and correctly well, predicted the eventual <laughs> championship team right. three seasons in a row. And just like that. Wait a minute, huh? Damn. All right. All right. It's just like a glimmer of hope shined upon my experiment. Maybe, just maybe, we can use numbers and data to predict this year's NBA champions. If they're right, so, I'm betting on whatever this guy says can do next year. Putting the whole As house we on already it. determined last season, preseason favorites and Vegas odds provide about zero assistance here, since they never seem to get it right. I mean, for some for sure. inexplicable reason, odds makers can narrow the line of a game down to one freaking point, but they can't pick a correct championship winning team worth a lick. So let's stick to the information that we know matters most. Here is the criteria we will use to help us determine which teams are truly contenders for this year's championship. Simple rating system, or SRS score, margin of victory, regular season standings, and roster playoff experience. Now, the SRS score is a rating given to each NBA team based on factors like point differential, net rating, and strength of schedule. And of the last 25 championship winning teams, 24 of them had an SRS score that ranked among the top six in the NBA. Well, damn, my Mavericks were eight. We're not liar. The only team that managed to win a title outside of the top <laughs> six were the Mavericks in 2011. So based on that. this information, being a Damn. top six SRS team is virtually a requirement. The top six teams in terms of SRS score this season are the Celtics, the Cavaliers, the 76ers, the Bucks, the Grizzlies, and the Nuggets. Well, they're already Let's on take pace a look to at pick regular season Let's see. standings. Let's see if he was right. The obvious indicator of potential playoff success is simply how good a team was throughout the regular season. And and as much as we like to cheer for the underdog, the odds of a team winning a championship if they did not dominate the entire season are somewhere between slim and none. Because out of the last 25 the championship winning teams, 23 of them finished the season with a top five record in the entire NBA. The top five teams in terms of overall record this season are the Bucks, the Celtics, 76ers, Nuggets, and tied for fifth are the Cavaliers Damn. and Grizzlies. Now let's take the a look at the really margin of victory. Down in this. Since 1998, 25 seasons, there has only been one team that finished outside of the top six in terms of margin of victory and still went on the to win Mavericks. a championship. So once again, Damn. if you want a real shot at the winning Mavericks the title, again. you really need to be inside the top six league-wide in this statistic. And this season, those top six teams are the Celtics, the the Cavaliers, again. 76ers, Grizzlies, Bucks, and Nuggets. Now, if we take a look at the three metrics we've covered and the qualifying teams for each one, we'll see that the same exact six teams appear in every single one. And this information Crazy is- Crazy that the, the Cavs got bounced out first round, the Bucks got bounced out first round, the Grizzlies got bounced out first round. 
So damn near really didn't even matter. Sixers can get past the semifinals. The only two that make it the conference finals was the Celtics and the Nuggets. Markable. The Nuggets Our data win. has not only narrowed down the contenders to these six teams, but it also shows us that the top teams in the NBA this season are unanimously these six teams. But this is where I think we fell short last season because we forgot to factor in a crucial variable. Experience. Going into the 2022 playoffs, the Warriors were projected to do well, but hardly anyone had them as the favorite to win it all. But what I greatly so underestimated was like their championship the Nuggets, the Nuggets pedigree and the far. sheer amount of reps they had gonna, on the big stage. The In the Bucks. JK's predictive model that we Bucks. discussed earlier, playoff experience had the second strongest correlation to future playoff success. The Nuggets have and among the six teams they, they that stand above the rest, here are the so, total career playoff games for their eight-man rotation. Rotation. The Cavaliers have just 71 career playoff games played in total Barely amongst anything. their eight-man rotation. The Mitchell Grizzlies too. have just 179 playoff games under their belt. The Nuggets have 268, and the 76ers, Bucks, and Celtics all dwarf these teams with combined total career playoff games all above 400. Damn. Which, if history tells us anything, eliminates Freddy, the Cavaliers, Grizzlies, <laughs> and Nuggets from contention it and leaves us with matter. these three powerhouse teams. So, where do we go from here? Across all metrics, star power, pace, efficiency, experience, these three teams are almost identical. Our data has come to the end of the road. But there are patterns and consistent themes of past championship teams that we can use to help us here. Over the last 15 seasons, there has only been one team that didn't feature at least one All-NBA defender that went on to win an NBA championship, and it took a once-in-a-lifetime performance to pull it off. The math. Oh, no. Oh, it was LeBron. Look at our three remaining teams. The Bucks have a really good shot at having multiple players make the all defensive team, and so do the Celtics. The 76ers do not, which narrows our contenders down to the Bucks and the Celtics. Now we've seen the, the Celtics and Bucks face each other on three separate occasions this season. And if those games are any indication of what's to come in the playoffs, the future NBA champions are clear as day. The Bucks and Celtics faced off for the first time on Christmas Day, <laughs> which resulted in a 21-point blowout oh, Celtics damn. win and Tatum and Brown combining for Never 70 mind. points. The next time these teams faced off was in February, where Boston sat four of their five starters and still nearly won in overtime with the junior varsity squad. And the third and final matchup was just a couple weeks ago, where Tatum and Brown combined for 70 points again Jeez. and handed the Bucks their second largest loss in nearly a decade. The Bucks Damn. have no answer for the Celtics' firepower and depth. And when Boston is at full capacity, they don't just beat Milwaukee, they destroy Milwaukee. And that's why, according to the numbers, the Boston Celtics will be the 2023 NBA champions. They have the star power, the defense, the experience. They've been here before, and they know what it's Good going to take to win it all. This, year. this team not only checks all the boxes <laughs> for what it money. takes to be a championship team, they exceed every metric for a potential championship team. Of course, the numbers can only tell us so much. It's impossible to quantify a lot of things that happen on a basketball court. Like the fact that come the playoffs, Giannis levels up and becomes one of the most unstoppable forces the game has ever seen. And it would be naive to count out the championship pedigree of the no, Warriors. Would not. Something that I've fell victim to in the past and something that just doesn't show up in the numbers. It would be an impossible task to forecast series-altering changes that may occur throughout the playoffs, like injuries, adjustments, players coming in and out of the rotation, yeah, and about a million Ooh. other variables. This entire video oh, could be damn, dead that, wrong, I, and my finals oh, prediction shit, record could fall from 0% to 0%. But that won't stop me from trying, and there's only one way to find out. Until then, hope you all enjoyed, and as always, until next time. Jimmy, you were wrong. I'm glad I didn't listen to you. I would have, otherwise, I would have lost all my money. Uh, the Nuggets won. Try again next year, though. Anyway, make sure you like, subscribe, and grab that extra decks. Doses.